This is a story that came out in the Washington Post, July 13th, 2018. France, dangerous move to remove race from its constitution. France, like all of the other colonizers around the earth, wrote constitutions like many of these other nations that have a lot of racism, put it in their constitution, just like here in America. Well, the only difference, at least France is trying to change their garbage. America is trying to hold on to it. That's the difference. But let's get into this story. And just take a lot of what I read with a grain of salt, ladies and gentlemen, because we know what's fake and we know what's real. In France, race doesn't exist. France is a very racist place, especially for those immigrants and the black people that were born there. There's a lot of black people that were born in France and they can tell you themselves about the racism there. And I have spoken to um, black people in France and they, the, the racism is very similar to what you see here in America. French people are raised to believe there is only one race, the human race, which is really inaccurate. Now, these folks claim to be educators, but that is a very inaccurate statement. Human is not a race. Human is a species, but it is not a race. Okay? Race is understood as biological, so mentioning it, to assert that there are hierarchies between human beings, which actually there are. There are the humans on the earth and there are the hybrids, all right? So we know biologically black people are the only humans on earth. All of these other groups that you see walking around here, they're all hybrids. They got other things in their DNA. They have um, many other things in their DNA that we don't simply have. That is why the word race in the French constitution has been subject to debate for more than a decade. Its first article states, France shall be indivisible, uh, secular, democratic, and social republic. It shall endure the equality of all citizens before the law without distinction of origin, race, or religion. During his 2012 presidential campaign, Francois Hollande um, promised to remove the word race from the constitution from his point of view, race does not exist and therefore should not be mentioned in any official text. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, actually he's right. This racism based on skin color is all made up. And you have to understand why it was made up. It was made up because the people that made it up really had nothing in their history that was really spectacular. It's not like they could say, look, look at how our ancestors live and this is what makes us the best. This is what makes us smart. They didn't have that. Now, as we walk around this summer and watch them sizzle, look red, and walk around with pus balls all summer long, <clears throat> they are still trying to convince us that their skin is the best as we sit back and laugh and watch them fry out here in the sun. You know, those of you that are not awake, 
you're still falling for it. Those of us that are wide awake know these people are full of crap. That's why when I see how red they're walking around, I always chuckle to myself. That's the same person that's walking around saying that skin that the sun is destroying is better than my skin that I'm absolutely fine taking and rays all day. I can walk outside right now, stand directly in the sun all day, and I will not walk in the house with a sunburn. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been hoodwinked. But the beautiful part is many are waking up and those among us that refuse to wake up, we can't worry about them. A few days ago, a commission of lawmakers working on the revision of the constitution, um, unanimously uh, agreed to remove the word from the founding text of our republic. On Thursday, the alteration um, was adopted by the National Assembly, former Prime Minister Manuel Valls, now a National Assembly uh, deputy affiliated with President Emmanuel Marcon or Macron party promptly says he was proud to vote with a motion for the removal of the word race from its constitution. You know, here's the problem, y'all. It really doesn't matter what these people put down on paper or remove from paper. If the hearts and minds of the people have not changed, it's really all in vain. If this debate had occurred 20 years ago, I probably would have support such a change. As a young French woman, the word race horrified me. I had good reasons for rejecting the word. To me, the only reference of a regime that would categorize its population by race was Nazi Germany and the translation of its racist measures into French law during the collaboration. Given that history erasing any mention of race in the public fear appear to be a reasonable solution to prevent racism, but it doesn't prevent racism. What you put on paper or take off of paper does not prevent racism. Like I, I'm going to go right back and say this. If you haven't changed the hearts and minds, which you're not going to do because these people were born with it and Actually, they're having fun being racist. That's why they're not going to change it. They're benefiting, they're enjoying it, and they don't want to change it. But I started to engage in anti-racist work. I'm just going to skip over this, you know, because it, this is just ridiculous. Okay, so let's go down to here. But history has created racial categories that still have an impact on the lives today of those who descend from people who were enslaved and colonized. Being black today means inheriting an imaginary, um, an imagery, I'm sorry, of blacks that was invented centuries ago. That former status doesn't have any legal ground now, but its consequences still operate every day. Yes, because you're benefiting from it. That's why it's operating in all of these colonizer nations, and it's going to continue to operate like that. Um, France sees itself as the promoter of the universal and colorblind philosophy that was supposed to protect us from racial tensions. You know what I, and this is just me talking, my personal opinion, I have a problem with the word colorblind. I think it's a disingenuous term. There is no way when you look at a person, you can't see what they are. Okay, not unless you're Ray Charles. You can clearly see what a person is. I don't believe that's a sin. If I look at you and I see a black male, a black female, um, just looking at you, a uh, uh, Arab male, um, Hispanic male or female, 
I, I don't see recognizing that as a sin. To me, colorblind means I got to block out who and what you are in order to accept you. I think that's very offensive. Now, you may have a different opinion, but if you look at me and you have to block out the fact that I am a black female in order for you to accept me, then please don't accept me at all. That's the way I see it. I don't need you to validate nothing about me. Please just move on about your business. I'm not going to apologize for my views. I'm not going to apologize for being a black female. And I'm not going to apologize for the way that I feel. I have every reason to feel the way that I do. I'm not pulling this out of thin air. So that's how I feel about the word colorblind. You know, not my word. That word did not come from the black community. And we are not the ones that should be browbeat over the word colorblind. That did not come from us. But the reality of the country of enlightenment is different from the claim ideal. France has the largest population of Muslims, Blacks, and Jews in Europe. However, we don't have ethnic statistics in the national census, but the law allows researchers and st statisticians to collect such data for the purpose of studies as long as the subjects remain anonymous according to a study by the Defender of the Rights Organization, young French Blacks and Arabs are 20 times more likely to have their identities checked by police than any other groups of the population. Trust me, it's no different. Just like you see police brutality going on in America, it's also going on over in France. France is marked by significant territorial disparities. French overseas citizens, most of whom are non-white, are hit hard. I'm sorry, hard hit. But for instance, in Guadalupe, a French island in the Caribbean where most of the population is black, 57% of young males are unemployed. In some areas where descendants of immigrants live, unemployment can be as high as 50% among young people from impoverished. So these are the ones that are impoverished areas of uh, unemployment, 50%. And these are mostly um, black, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I don't buy the French are not racist or not as racist as America. I've heard that. And that is simply not true. Two and a half times greater than the national average, according to French National Agency on Equality. From estimates, 60 percent of inmates in France are Muslim, despite the fact that Muslims make up 10 percent of the population. So that just go to show you everywhere these people are, they make sure they put the population in jail that don't look like them or don't reflect them. That's who goes to jail in the highest number. And it's the same way in Australia, y'all. Do you know they have a big uh, jail population of the Aborigines? This is a global thing that's going on. The Aborigines, I think, are like 3% of the population, but they make up a huge population in the prisons. This is the way this whole world is ran. I mean, they run the whole world like a police state. That's why nobody is enjoying life and are happy under this global system that we're in. More people are unhappy than they are happy. Racism is not addressed in a structural way in France, and that is because race is not addressed as something tangible. How can a country seriously fight racism if race is not handled 
even as a fictional category. If race does not exist, racists do, and they act based on the belief of their existence of categories. So getting rid of the word will not work as a magic trick that would suddenly make racism disappear. And I agree with that. You know, it, it doesn't matter if they took any document and remove all of the racism out it out of it. When you go out here in society, you're still going to encounter all of that racism. So really, it's counterproductive. And it should tell you that is not where you should be fighting racism. It's not on documents. I, I think when you try to use documents as a means to fight racism, you got the wrong idea. That's not where it should be fought. And that's why it's totally ineffective. And you would think in all these centuries, these alleged IQ, high IQ people been in power, they would know this but they don't seem to know this. They don't grasp this concept at all. Unbelievable. Making the word race taboo will not change anything in the lives of people who are affected by racism. It will deprive scholars and activists of a power tool to study the implications of racism. And it may lead to the criminalization of those who dare use that word, attempting to classify someone by race can be grounds for a lawsuit. Denying the existence of race means denying the reality of racial discrimination. The constitutional framework has a deep impact on the policies that are defined by the government. And there is nothing more dangerous than a country that refuses to see its most obvious issues. France is not a fantasy land away from the rest of the world. Race exists and its effect are and it affects our lives every day. And, <clears throat> and it will continue to affect our lives every day. Because Racism is not being tackled in the correct way. And that's by design. You got to understand these people are benefiting. They don't want it to change. They don't want their lives to change. So if it means people got to suffer just so they can be happy, that's good enough for them. But that should never be good enough for the rest of us. It really, this hierarchy of, of skin color is made up. Okay. And the next time my melanated brothers and sisters walk out in the sun and you see these red people walking around, <laughs> just, just put in your mind, these are the people that said <laughs> their skin is better, although the sun is showing us otherwise. I think that's hilarious. I get a good chuck out of this time of the year walking around and looking at these old red scorched up people everywhere and they have sunscreen on. That's the worst part. <laughs> they have sunscreen on and they're still walking around looking like they touched some hog weed. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. This is a BS piece. But this is what was published. And by the way, the French won the World Cup and 15 of their 22 players were of African descent. That is the only reason why the French won the World Cup, period. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace.